Okay. I think I think I have it now. Let me see. It's always something, I tell you what. Trying all sorts of new stuff, making this work. But I think we're okay now. It looks like comments are there. Let me fix the post in the group. Hello, Ben. Everyone can hear me? Do we have success there now? Can you hear me, Ben? Or anybody else? Hello out there. Okay. All right. Excellent. So I'm streaming through a uh, different streaming company, I guess, uh, Restream. And I'm hoping that maybe that will fix some of my uh, issues. So I'm also trying a new webcam that I just bought today. Um, so maybe that was the issue. So I'm hoping, I'm fingers crossed that things work out a lot better for us uh, tonight than they have the last couple of times, especially since we've got not one, but two boxes to bust tonight. So we filled two breaks. We have the uh, 1999 Stadium Club that we're going to break, and we have the 2000 uh, Pacific Private Stock. And I think what I'm going to do is bust the private stock first um, and then we'll bust the stadium club second so i'll set the stadium club aside and of course as with pretty much all my breaks as long as i don't run out of packs we have some bonus packs for this break so i've got a couple of just assorted ones and we have our box of bowman 1989 bowman that we've been slowly working our way through and i'm going to take two more packs out of that as well and we're still looking for one of those Griffey rookies out of that Bowman box. And so that's going to be our break for this. While people uh, kind of filter into the uh, room, into the, the live video feed, I'm going to open up the bonus packs. And then I will, before I actually rip into the Pacific box itself, I will make sure to read down through the list of all the teams. Um, I don't think we ended up with any more trades for either team box breaks. I think I got them all, but I'll read down through. Hi, Joe. How's it going tonight? Glad you were able to join me. Hopefully everyone can uh, hear me okay. I'm trying to, like I said a moment ago, I'm trying a new, uh, new webcam and it has its own microphone attached. So we're seeing how that works. All right. So we're going to go through the bonus packs first. We've got a, uh, I still have a few of these left. Um, the 2007 rack packs, at least that's why I call them with the gum in them. And we'll start with that, and then we'll work our way through the uh, remaining ones. All right. So we've got a Jeremy Sowers on the front for the Indians. And we have a Tampa Bay Rays on the back. So we can at least see that much. All right. So we've got Jeremy Sowers, Ron Garnheimer for the Twins, Morgan Ensberg for the Astros. I think this new camera is a lot nicer, huh? Uh, this is my first time really trying it. I literally installed it earlier uh, this afternoon. Carlos Quentin, Diamondbacks. Josh Barfield, Indians. Brent Clevin for the Tigers. I've heard of him. Damian Miller, Brewers. Bobby Abreu, Yankees. Benji Molina for the Giants. Bill Hall for the Brewers. Bob Melvin, Diamondbacks. Sean Riggins, rookie for the Rays. Ryan Fearbend 
rookie for the Mariners. Rod Barajas, Mark Burley, Saul Rivera, Vernon Wells, Brian Stokes for the Rays, Clint Hurdle, Ubaldo Jimenez, rookie. That one's pretty good. Nice Travis Hafner for the Indians. And then, like I said, that we could see the last card, a Tampa Bay Rays team card. I like the team cards. I'm a sucker for those. Good. I'm glad this is showing up nicely for everybody. I am, like I said, fingers crossed This I finally found the right combination of equipment to make the group breaks run uh, a little bit more smoothly. I think everyone will be happier with that <laughs> uh, if things if things go a little bit better from uh, here on out. All right, so this is our I think 2000 yeah 2006. I didn't actually collect. I graduated from college in 05, and then I had a couple years of grad school and job hunting and stuff like that. So I have a kind of a dead uh, period of collecting in 2004 through 2006. 2007 uh, definitely a dead period for me so this is a design i'm actually not terribly familiar with and most of these cards will be new to me um, at least so we've got edgar alfonso for the giants jack mckeon for the marlins coco crisp indians xavier nady for the mets we have a charlie manual manager card for the phillies tim wakefield pretty nice jesse crane twins We've got uh, Marcus Giles and Chipper Jones for the Braves. Again, this is the private stock break right now. Luis uh, Castillo, Marlins. Another Gold Glover winner, Derek Lee for the Cubs. We have an Orioles team card. Miguel Cabrera, very young Miguel Cabrera there. Andrew Jones, Scott Casimir. Ted Lilly for the Blue Jays. Tony Clark, Diamondbacks. Another Diamondback, Claudio Vargas. Mark Hendrickson. Craig Hansen, rookie for the Red Sox. Vinny Castilla, Padres. Chris Rietzma for the Braves. And a Ryan Jorgensen, rookie for the Marlins. That's bonus pack number two. Bonus pack number three. I found this pack of 2017 tops. I have a fairly, it's a decent sized cardboard box, and I just throw in my random packs in there when I get them, and that's what I'm rating for all these bonus packs. So uh, the downside is uh, my local Walmart, at least every time I looked, hasn't had a single pack of baseball cards. So uh, my supply is definitely dwindling rapidly, but hopefully I can replenish at some point. So anyways, uh, this is the 2017, and that's a Joe Maurer for the Twins, J.D. Martinez, Tigers, Brock Holt, Red Sox. Let me get the camera to focus on that. There we go. That's a nice card. I like that one. Uh, they were stocked this morning. Yeah, I didn't go in today. We did a grocery pickup, but it was just the, where they bring it to your car. D. Gordon Marlins and a Joe Ross. For the nationals i'll have to maybe i can get in there tomorrow lots of football and tops heritage yeah, a couple of heritage packs might be fun right all right here we go we've got gum all over the place here lots of just gum gum shrapnel in this pack okay flip those around we have our uh, ad card going, and I'll just give it to the team that's featured there, so the Yankees. We've got a Bob Welch, Athletics. Uh, Alfredo Griffin, I think. Yep, Dodgers. Uh, Pat Sheridan, Tigers. Cardinals get Ken Daly. Mets get Wally Whitehurst. Uh, we've got Danny Gladden for the Twins, Kevin Seitzer, Royals, Tony Pena, Cardinals, <laughs> Scott Fletcher, oh, <laughs> look, well, Scott Fletcher, Rangers, but here we go, here we go, Ken 
Griffey Jr. making his professional debut. And the Mariners in the Pacific break are, that's going to Joe. Joe has the Mariners in the Pacific. So there is our first, hopefully not our last, Ken Griffey Jr. out of this box of Bowman. That is an exciting pull from a rather old product these days. Very nice, great condition. Uh, luckily for Joe in this case, this was not next to any of the gum. So the back looks really, really good too. That's just a beautiful card. Everything about that is nice. Uh, the only thing that's not nice is I don't know that a regular sleeve will hold it. I don't have extended sleeves. Uh, so it's mostly protected in there. I'm going to get... Let me find a better sleeve for it. I think this should do the trick. All right, there we go. All safely encased right in there. That's a very nice Griffey. <laughs> yeah, that would be... I don't take a look at it. I don't do a lot of grading, but I see zero flaws on that card. So corner centering looks to my eye very good. Uh, I like it. That's exciting. That's a, that's a fun start to tonight. Put that up there just so I can stare at it. All right. And we have two more cards in the pack. Let's not shortchange the last two. We've got Tom Bernanski, Cardinals, and hey, Fred McGriff. Not bad. That was a pretty good pack, actually. Try to get the camera to focus on old crime dog there. All right. And again, this is the private stock break. This will be our last bonus pack from this. Joe, am I supposed to save the uh, gum out of this pack for you? Since Shane challenged you to eat it. I mean, you're in luck. Look, it's, it's, there it is. Nice and... I was going to say it's whole, but it's it's crumbling as I try to peel it off this card. There we go. We have two pieces. All right. <laughs> Joe says, sure. You, if you eat this gum, you're going to have to do it on camera, Joe. I think, and post the video to the, uh, to the group, the Facebook group. Uh, Vaughn Hayes for the Phillies. It has Satchel Page. This is just the sweepstakes cards but they're actually kind of neat so i'm throwing them in at whoever has you know whichever team is featured uh gary Reedus for the pirates lonnie smith for the braves rafael santana for the yankees rick ruchel i never knew how to say his last name ruchel ruchel don't know uh giants al newman twins mike moore athletics Charlie Huff, Rangers. Jeff Ballard, Orioles. Mike Scott. Mike Scott just looks like he's wearing pajamas in the dugout. Like That does not look like a guy who's playing, coaching, doing anything sport-related. Dale Murphy and Rick Sutcliffe for the Cubs. That's the one that had the gum on it, though. All right, so that does it for the bonus packs. Again, really nice Griffey out of that bonus, Griffey rookie. Um, let me quickly read down through the list, and then we will actually rip the main event for the Pacific Private Stock group break. So uh, this, as a reminder, was a group break where you bought one team and you got one team randomly assigned to you. So there are a total of 15 um, slots in the break. And going down alphabetically, uh, the Diamondbacks with Ben Martin, Braves with Joe Iglesia, Orioles with Shane, Milheim, Red Sox, Shane Milheim, White Sox, Jeff Laws, Cubs, Ben Martin, I have the Reds, Indians, Jeff B, Rockies, Jason McQuitty, Tigers, Ben Morris, Astros, Carrie Biggs, Jason McQuitty has the Royals, Lost Collector has the Angels, Ben Morris has the Dodgers, Shane has the Marlins and Brewers, 
Jeff B has the Twins. Ben Martin has the Mets. Lost Collector, the Yankees. I have the Athletics. The Phillies go to Daddy 000. Wade Fisher has the Pirates. Rod Richards has the Padres. Daddy 000 has the Giants. Joe Iglesia has the Mariners, including that nice Griffey rookie. Cardinals go to Kerry Biggs. Ben Martin has the Rays. Jeff Laws has the Rangers. Rod Richards has Rod Richards has the Blue Jays, and the Expos national slot goes to Wade Fisher. So all of those uh, bonus cards that you just saw me open, so this whole stack goes with this box. All right, I'm going to open the Stadium Club box as well tonight, but those are different people, different uh, teams, etc and there will be a different set of bonus packs for that break. All right, so with all of the official stuff out of the way, let's get to it. So I am super excited for um, ripping this box. I love Pacific products around, especially kind of the, right around the turn of the century stuff. Um, I'm not sure that I've ever opened even a pack of the 2000 private stock. Maybe I have. I don't remember for sure. But this is a retail box. So you got all your packs there and a giant hunk of styrofoam. Get this out of the way for now. All right. So here are all of our packs. Good luck, everybody. Uh, Joe, do you have the, are you have the Mariners in both breaks? I will be very happy for you if I pull another. I hope to pull another Griffey somewhere in that box. I you don't usually root for duplicates, but I am. I'm rooting for duplicate Griffey rookies. I'm going to be greedy. You've got a lot of packs left in that box. All right. So here is our very first card of the Pacific Private Stock break. And yeah, I don't know that I've ever seen these cards actually in person. They're nice. Um, very thick. Kenny Lofton for the Indians. Here's what the back looks like. Let's see if I can get the, I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on the words there or not. There we go. So it kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a magazine look or something to that. Nice, nice photos. Got a gold signature going across the front there. Each pack also has. Um, I think actually each pack does have two minis. I don't think this is a mistake that we have two in this one. But here's Robert Fick, rookie for the Tigers. We have uh, No More Garcia Para for the Red Sox. And then we get two minis, Roger Clemens for the Yankees and Scott Rowland for the Phillies. And they both have the same back on them. I'm a big Allen and Ginter fan, so every time I see a mini, the first thing I think I need to do is flip it over. Would people be interested in, speaking of Ginter, would people be interested in an Allen Ginter group break? Uh, I'm having trouble finding affordable boxes right now, but is that something that anyone would be interested in besides me? Uh, I think it comes out mid-September. All right, Edgar Martinez for the Mariners. Doug Glanville for the Phillies. And the mini card is stuck to the back of him. The minis stick a little bit, I see. Our other full-size card is Ray Durham for the White Sox. And then our two minis, Jeremy Burnitz for the Brewers and Adam Kennedy for the Cardinals. Believe it or not, I didn't actually check to even see. I don't even know uh, what reds are in this set. I kind of just claimed them because I didn't have anything from here. I probably should have looked that up, but such is life. Sean Green. Try to get that to focus again. Blue Jays. Uh, Gary Sheffield, the Dodgers. And on the back of Sheffield, we have our first mini, which is Robert Fick for the Tigers. And our next is Adam Kennedy for the Cardinals. And then we have a Carlos Lee full-size. Did we just pull Adam Kennedy or am I already... Yeah, we did. So we can expect uh, backs are exactly the same. 
So we might get duplicates. What do you think? Not probably the guy most of us are hoping to get a duplicate of, but that's all right. A lot of packs, a lot of minis. Hopefully a lot of fun. Uh, Luis Castillo for the Marlins. We have our first insert of the box. This is a, get that off of it, extreme action for the Atlanta Braves. Nice Chipper Jones. Joe is doing well so far. Joe, you have the Braves in this one. Let's see. I'll sleeve this guy too. Very nice. Put him over there. So we have Luis Castillo. And our other full size looks like a good one. Frank Thomas. The big hurt for the White Sox. That's going to Jeff. Hopefully, Jeff, hopefully that's a new one for you. And our two minis are much better than the last couple packs. No more Garcia Parra for the Red Sox and Jose Canseco for the Rays. And the Rays. Who has the Rays? Ben Martin has the Rays, this one. Uh, those extreme... I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but the odds for various things here. That, that does show up. Wow. So one in 49 are the private stock artist canvas. So they're basically one in every other box. Um, the private stock artist canvas proofs are one of ones. The minis, that's the PS 2000 action cards. There's two per pack. There's only 60. So, you know, we're, we've got you know, 24 packs. So we're, we're bound to pull some duplicates there anyways. And then you can see some of the other insert sets are uh, serially numbered, and then the extreme action are two, uh, in you know, in, two for every 25 packs, so basically to a box, not quite. So that's what we're kind of looking for here. And we've got, let's start with one well, of the mini fell out. So here's a Pedro Martinez mini. We've got a Manny Ramirez. I do like these cards. Carlos Beltran. Russell Brannion for the Indians. That's a rookie. And a mini of Rafael Palmero for the Rangers. Yeah, I, well, I'm like, I'm, Allen and Ginter is my favorite set, uh, favorite brand. Um, certainly have anything post 2000. So I'm a big fan of minis. Uh, if you follow my blog at all, you'll know I did a huge countdown of all of the Allen and Ginter mini sets that have ever been released. Um, and I also have collected some of the original Allen and Ginter. I have one complete set of 1889 Allen and Ginter fish sets complete. Um, Ellis Burks, Giants. So yeah, moral of the story is I love the, I love the minis. Ron Coomer for the Twins. And attached to him is a J.D. Drew for the Cardinals. The Cardinals were claimed by Carey, so hopefully that's a, a good one for Carey. Oh, look at that. Barry Larkin. I'm excited. And a Craig Biggio mini for the Astros. So normally when I do these group breaks, I set up, I have little um, lights, basically, that go on either side of this light box. Uh, you guys notice a difference? With that not being on today, is it better or worse? I mean, my camera is better. That's for sure. Uh, Fernando Tatis, Cardinals. Ben Grieve, Athletics. I don't think I have that Larkin. I need to double check. Um, it's possible that it was sent to me and I've kind of forgotten about it. Troy O'Leary. This set design doesn't ring any bells, though. Jorge Toca for the Mets. Never heard of him. And Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees. Nice little mini there. Uh, I should look. I have a list of most of the Larkins I own. Dean, I think we have something shiny in this pack, people. Let's kick, say that to the end, shall we? So we have got a mini... Going to carry of Mark McGuire. 
probably one of the best Cardinal minis we could get. A nice Vlad Guerrero going to the Expos. We've got a Larry Walker going to Colorado. Uh, Dean Palmer for the Tigers and our private stock silver proof, I believe, is of Preston Wilson for the Marlins. Now you can see there's a little bit of uh, flaking on there. That's kind of unfortunate, but it is numbered. You can see that. Get the camera to focus right there. 079 out of 199. So that's one of those silver framed. Let me throw that in a sleeve. When the breaks are over, I do sleeve pretty much all the inserts, by the way. Yeah, that's portrait painting framed in silver. That's the retail only um, parallel. So with Pacific, they usually had a parallel that was retail only and one that was hobby only. So if you're a player collector, you basically had to buy both. And that was kind of annoying. Brian Giles, Pirates. Rondell White, Expos. And attached to him is ooh, a Greg Maddox. It's very nice. And a Sean Casey for the Reds. And Jay Bell. Just disintegrate. Uh, Rafael Palmero for the Rangers. Bobby Abreu for the Phillies. And attached to him is an Alex Rodriguez for Seattle. Another nice mini. Mark Quinn, Royals. That's going to Jason McQuitty, I believe. Jason, I'm not sure if Jason's in the room right now. Uh, but I assume by what he's been claiming that he is a Royals fan, and I do not know very many Royals fans. So that's that's good to see. During our stat, as a fan of another small market team myself, I like to see I like to see that. What my group really needs though is someone that's a Red Sox fan. I feel like the Red Sox keep going unclaimed in many of our group breaks, and that's kind of weird. Oh, I see. I think another silver. So let's save that one. Till the end. All right. Minis. Brian Giles for the Pirates. Bobby Abreu for the Phillies. Bernie Williams full size. Yankees. Damian Easley for the Tigers. And our next silver is Mike Dar. Mike Dar for the Padres. The Padres are going to, I believe, yes, Rod Richards. Numbered out of 199 there. So, honestly, I wasn't expecting to get one of these. There was no promise. We've got two already. So, that's that seems cool and surprising to me. Rod's a big Padres fan, and he's, he's been in most of my breaks already. Maybe all of them so far since I've started on the blog, and I'm really happy when I pull some Padres for him because Padres are... Uh, an underrepresented team in many sets, we found. All right, Mike Hampton, Astros, Brian Jordan, Atlanta. Our first mini is Jason Delario. Delario? I don't know. For the White Sox, I've never heard of him. Uh, Jim Tome and Joe, there you go. This is your break so far, my friend. Ken Griffey Jr. in mini form. Ooh, really nice. That's a gorgeous card. It's just nice all the way around. Kind of fits, image fits right in there. The logo. That's good stuff. Yeah, we're doing well. I mean, we can't complain about this box. Fred McGriff for the Rays. Jeff Cirillo, Brewers. A mini of Manny for the Indians. Our other mini is Peter Bergeron for the Expos. Like he's one of those guys that was supposed to be good and never really panned out. 
And here's uh, our local guy for where I live, Mike Mucina. He grew up and lives about an hour south of me, uh, pretty much just down the road from where I work, actually. And Shane, you have the Orioles. And I know we've talked about Mucina already, so that's a nice looking Mike Mucina card for you. I said it already, but these Pacific, you're going to like the stock of these when you, uh, when you get them in hand. They're nice, thick, thick cards. They just, they feel good. All right. Uh, we've got JT Snow, I believe. Yes, JT Snow for the Giants. I forgot about him. Um, Corey Koski for the Twins. Mo Vaughn Mini, Angels. Russell Branyan Mini for the Indians and a full size Sean Casey. Open this carefully. There we go. Sorry about that. Vinny Castillo for the Rockies. Richie Sexton for the Indians. And. Try that off. Carlos Guillen for the Mariners. Eric Gagne for the Dodgers. Boy, he was really good for a while. And then he uh, blew that save in the All-Star game and was basically never the same, if I remember correctly. And Robin Ventura for the Mets. Gagne was unstoppable, and then all of a sudden, that was the end of the run for him, more or less. I mean, I think he still had a bunch of saves that year, but... He was never, he was never quite the, uh, the same after that. All right, Roberto Alomar for the Indians. Vernon Wells for the Blue Jays, and Richie Saxon Mini Indians. Tony Armas Jr. for the Expos, and Carlos Delgado for the Blue Jays. On to the last third of this box. Lots of lots of good cards. 130 point stock for 2020. That's 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 pretty thick. I'm curious, does anyone know what the what point stock this is? Just so I know. <laughs> Tony Fernandez, Blue Jays. Oh Ricky Henderson for the Mets. Always weird for me to see him with the Mets. Warren Morris for the Pirates. Uh, we've got a nice Chipper Jones for the Braves and a mini of Derek Jeter for the Yankees. That one also looks pretty good. Lost Collector has the Yankees in this break. So hopefully that's a new one for him. All right, Ben Davis, Padres, David Cohn, Yankees, Edgardo Alfonso, Mets, Mini, Tony Gwynn, Padres, Mini, very nice, and Luis Gonzalez, should have known by his kind of elongated face for the Diamondbacks. That's a nice little Jeter. Yeah, Joe, you left the Yankees in this one. Or maybe a lost collector got him before you. I don't remember how that actually went down. Uh, Preston Wilson, Marlins. We have a Ben Petrick, Rockies. Juan Encarnacion, Tigers. Steve Cox, Rays. And a Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. So we should still get one more of those in stream action inserts, most likely. But I think we did better with the silver frame, so who knows. Juan Encarnacion, Tigers. Tony Armas Jr. for the Expos. Andrew Jones, Mini. A Frank Thomas mini. That's nice. I have a uh, 
small personal collection of Frank Thomas cards. So even though I'm not a White Sox fan, I always have liked him. And Randy Johnson. One of the few players I've gotten an autograph of in person. Mr. Randy Johnson. 75 point stock. That could be. Jeez. Ray Langford. Cardinals. Edgardo Alfonso. Mets. Our first mini is Juan Gonzalez. Rangers. Our second mini is Dermal Brown for the Royals and Tim Salmon, your requisite angel representative in all late 90s sets. Always Tim Salmon. Alex Rodriguez. Nice full size base there. Looks so young. Raul Mondesi, Dodgers. And the mini on the back here. Chad Hermanson for the Pirates. Are the minis Tim Hudson? And for the Orioles, Shane going to you. Cal Ripken Jr. Ripken's another guy I have a small personal collection of. How do you not like the Iron Man? Act like the Iron Man. All right, we're down to our final two packs for this break. When we have Mike Sweeney for the Royals. We have Mike Sweeney for the Royals, back to back. Barry Bonds mini for the Giants. It's going to Daddy OOO as his second team, I do believe. Pretty good uh, uh, consolation prize. That's the word I'm looking for. Vlad Guerrero, Expos, and Kurt Schilling. All right, one pack left for the Pacific Private Stock Break. Good luck, everybody. We have Ben Davis for the Padres. Scott Rowland Mini for the Phillies. We have a... Ooh, that's a... That's another insert. Let's come back to him. That's a Frank Thomas. I'll get him right back to it. Luis Gonzalez, Diamondbacks, Tony Gwynn, full-size base. And this is one of the stars uh, mini inserts. And you can probably, hopefully, make out on the bottom there. It is serial numbered out of 299. This one being 056 out of 299. And that is a... Trading card stars. There's only 20 cards in this set. I did not expect that we would pull one of these. Um, I'm going to throw in a big sleeve. I might have some mini sleeves, so if I do, I'll, I'll put it in a proper size sleeve later. But that's a very nice uh, hit for the White Sox. That's going to Jeff. Congratulations, Jeff. So we, we can't complain about this box. I mean, we only got the one extreme action. They were two and 25 packs so i was expecting two but can't complain about that chipper we ended up with two of the silver parallels each numbered out of 199 on the back the preston wilson 79 out of 199 and the mike adar 47 out of 199 uh the marlins with ended up with the marlins uh shane shane you the marlin preston's going to you and then the real prize of the box that frank thomas i don't know what these cards sell for but i'm willing to bet that this thomas will pay for the uh entire spot that jeff law bought into that seems like a safe bet so congratulations to everybody on that break and just so cards don't get mixed up i'm going to put all these back in this box and then we will move on to our second group break all right let me get this out of the way um they don't list the odds on those 
they just list them as serially numbered sets. Let's see if that will. I don't know if that's going to focus to where you can read it. But the um, stars are the most uh, highest serially numbered of the three mini inserts. So the stars are out of 299, the new wave is out of 199, and the rookies are out of 99. But being honest, if you look at the checklist, if you're going to pull one of those, you want to pull the stars. Um, the, the new wave I, doesn't have very many names, and I think the rookie list is actually quite poor. Um, when I looked at it, I'm pretty sure there aren't, really are no rookies of note. Again, if memory serves. All right. So that was, that was fun. Now let's do it again, shall we? So we've got our box of 1999 Stadium Club. So this will be the Stadium Club group break. We've got some bonus packs for this group break. That is where you can see them. And we will get a couple more packs of Bowman. We'll take those. And then when this break is over, when this box and bonus packs are over, I will uh, give you a sneak preview of what we're going to open next. And I think some of you are going to be excited. All right, let's let's uh, let's get right to it. So kind of a random selection of packs once again, because that's what I do. I'm pretty big on making sure everyone gets good value for their group break money. Uh, Personally, I hate buying into group breaks and not getting anything. So part of my goal as a host is to make sure that that doesn't happen or, or super, super rarely happens. And that's a big reason why I throw in the bonus packs. All right, with that said, let's get right to it. We got Joel Zumaya for the Tigers, Rocco Baldelli for the Rays, Preston Wilson Cardinals, Andrew Miller Rookie Tigers, John Lackey Angels, Justin Verlander for the Tigers. It's a nice card. Mark Ellis Athletics, Brandon Inge for the Tigers, Brad Penny Dodgers. Uh, we've got a Soriano Beltran. This is uh, the Mets and the Nationals. Uh, let's see, the Mets are Shane and the Nationals are Spiegel. So I will randomize this off um, between those two teams. Bobby Kelty, Athletics, Bob Whitman, Braves, Aubrey Huff, Orioles, Alfredo Amazaga, Marlins, Moises Lou Mets, Matt Holiday Rockies, Matt Kane, Giants, Mark Mulder, Cardinals, Mark Loretta, Red Sox, and then seemingly the last three cards are always horizontal. Carl Crawford Rays, which I like that card. Rays, Casey Fossum, and a White Sox team card. So that's our first bonus pack. Let's do the triple play next. Still a few more of these to throw in future breaks, and they're just different. Um, it's a it's an acquired taste, I'll be honest. Uh, Jonas Cespedes, but if you're a team collector, you want all of your cards of your team, no matter what the set, right? Jose Bautista, Dan Heron, Baseball 101 Stealing, so no team featured there. Um, Grand Slam Sticker. No team featured there. Albert Pujols, that's one of the puzzle pieces, and Jose Bautista. Next, pack of old school Dunners. This is the 1988 edition of Dunners, where our puzzle was Stan Usual. So there's part of Stan's, I'll say shoulder, maybe? How about it? Paul O'Neill, Reds, Rick Shue, Phillies, Gerald Young Astros, Ricky Horton Cardinals, Johnny Ray Angels, Ray Searage, White Sox, Greg Harris Rangers, uh, Ray Rookie of Mark Grace, by one of the better cards in this set, uh, Cubs or Ben Martin, Randy St. Clair Expos, Luis Polonia, Athletics, Steve Balboni, Royals, Matt Young Dodgers, Ron Kittle, Yankees, John Marzano, Red Sox, and Mike Henneman, Tigers. All right, 
Now we're to our two packs of Bowman. Okay, so the last, if you're just joining us, we pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie out of the first set of these bonus packs. Could we get two today? Joe hopes so. He has the Mariners in this break as well. Richie Ashburn, add card. Robin Yount, Brewers. Jesse Orozco, Indians. Pat Tabler, Royals. Cal Ripken Sr. for the Orioles. Kind of a neat card, I guess. Indians get Kevin Whitgander, Frank Viola, Twins, Marty Barrett, Red Sox, Sid Brain, Pirates, Ellis Burks, Red Sox, Paul O'Neill, Reds, Mike Henneman, Tigers, and Bobby Thigpen for the White Sox. Didn't Bobby Thigpen throw a no-hitter? I think so. I think Thigpen threw a no-hitter. Or was part of a no-hitter. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's a thing. All right. Let's see here. So we've got, oh, 57 saves. Okay. I have a, yeah, I knew I had some kind of card of his that was like some record setting. I don't know. Maybe that was the record. For the Dodgers, just a ad card. Um, I don't know who that is. Johnny Ard, the Twins. Bob Melvin, uh, Orioles. Mitch Williams, Cubs. Rafael Palmero, Rangers. For the Phillies, Ken Howell. Doyle Alexander, Tigers. John Sorutti, Blue Jays. Jeff Musselman, Blue Jays. Brian Holton, Orioles. The Mets get Dave Mag... Whoops. Dave Magadan and Sean Hillegas. Boy, a bunch of people I've never heard of. And Johnny Ray once again for the Angels. So no Griffey that time, but we did it in the other two packs, so I guess that's all right. Okay, we're ready for the main event. Um, in order to, before I bust the packs, let me quickly read down through the list of who has what this time around. So we've got the Diamondbacks, Joe Aglisha, Roy Galloway has the Braves, Shane Milheim has the Orioles, Adam Canninger, Red Sox, Jeff Laws, White Sox, Ben Martin, Cubs, I have the Reds, Ben Morris, Indians, Adam Canninger, Rockies, Ben Morris, Tigers, Roy Galloway, Astros, the Royals, Royals go to Jason McQuitty, Jeff B has the Angels, Spiegel 83 has the Dodgers, Wade Fisher has the Marlins. Jason McQuitty has the Brewers. Jeff Beamish has the Twins. Shane has the Mets. Joe has the Yankees. Ben Martin has the Athletics. Joe has the Phillies. Wade Fisher has the Pirates. Rod Richard, Padres. Jeff Beamish, Giants. Joe Aglisha, Mariners. Jeff Beamish, Cardinals. Jeff Laws has the Tampa Bay Rays. I have the Rangers. And Rod Richards has the Blue Jays. And finally, the National slash Expos go to Spiegel 83. So that is your full rundown of who has what in this break. Now, for Stadium Club, this is Series 2 from 1999. And as with many Stadium Club sets, there's all kinds of cool stuff to look for here. We have the potential for a triumvirate. Which if you have not seen a triumvirate card, they're pretty cool. They're basically three cards that fit together, and there's parallels of them. I pulled one once out of a pack way back when. I like how the box opens. I will say that. Uh, all right, so good luck, everybody. This is hopefully going to be a lot of fun.
All right, here we go. So we've got six cards in a pack. And I think I'm just going to take all the packs out and line them up here to get this box out of my way. So there's the empty box. Okay. Here we go. So we see a checklist right off the bat. That might be helpful depending on what we pull. We have a Bernard Gilkey for the Diamondbacks. Mike Piazza for the Mets. Oh, right off the bat, Ken Griffey Jr. Beautiful diving base card. I like that. I don't know if I've seen that card before. Very cool. Uh, Mariners are Joes once again. Rick Aguilera, Aguilera Twins, Darren Fletcher, Blue Jays, and we have a 1999 Transactions, Albert Bell. Uh, this is numbered as part of the base set, but you can probably see even with the camera that there's kind of print on a shinier foil board foil board easy for me to say that yeah the griffey's nice so my streaming software uh seems good except it has stopped updating the chat for me so now i have to flip over to the youtube to see the chat. Pedro for the Red Sox. Mike Bordick. Kind of an interestingly framed card there. Uh, Brian Meadows for the Marlins. Sean Bergman for the Astros. I've got an insert. Let's come back to that in just a second. 1999 Transactions. Brett Boone. Another checklist and our insert is a video replay of mark mcguire of the cardinals and the cardinals are jeff beamish and if i can do this can you can you see what happens here maybe i have to do it that way oh, i have to go this way there we go so he's ready to hit, he's swinging, and he's crushing a home run. You got to kind of tilt it up and down, and you can kind of see the, the action there. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like the old Sport Flicks cards. But that's going to uh, the Cardinals, Jeff Beamish. And I'll throw that in a, in a penny sleeve. I like that one. Pretty neat. Uh, let's see if, if that's listed as one of the video replays or 1 in 12 packs. 1 in 12, in case you're curious. That's what we did before TV. You're not that old, Joe. You're not that old. All right, Kevin Stocker. Carlos Delgado. Pretty interestingly framed Larry Walker. Um, Joe, if one Griffey's good, two are better, right? So who doesn't want a, a second Griffey from the pack? Mike, or from the box, I should say, Mike Lansing and a draft pick of Austin Kearns. That is a completely posed shot, but it's still kind of cool. And another checklist. I'll probably just throw one of those checklists. They seem to be coming about one pack. I'll probably just throw one in everybody's pile. You can do with it what you want. Scott Spezio. Manny Ramirez. Royce Clayton. Abraham Nunez. Todd Jones. Tigers. Steve Finley. Diamondbacks, uh, transaction, and another checklist. 
Okay, Joe has the Yankees in this break. They missed out, Joe, but the glass box had a nice cheater. Scott Rowland for the Phillies. Tom Goodwin for the Rangers. Ismael Valdez for the Dodgers. Oh, I like this card. I like the picture. Jason Kendall, Pittsburgh. Bobby Jones, Mets. And a Ramon Hernandez, future star. Also part of the base set. Another checklist. Abraham or Aramis Ramirez, Seth Greisinger, I don't know him, Twins or Tigers rather, sorry, Matt Williams, that's a nice looking card, Greg Olson, and we have our Stadium Club Chrome, and I don't think you could get a much bigger name, so we did well there too. Alex Rodriguez, Stadium Club Chrome. That's what the back of that looks like. Number 21 in the set. And this, the Chrome cards are, pull the pack up right again. They're seated. One per box, one in 24 packs. So that is a box hit. I thought they were fairly rare. But hard to beat that. Uh, Mariners, of course, going to Joe. And Brant Brown, for the Pirates. And I'll be honest, when I make the uh, group break sign up, you know, try to price the teams, obviously certain teams have better potential and they have to be priced higher so we can pay for boxes. Um, but then I always have to hope that those higher priced teams do actually hit something. So I'm glad to see that that's happening, at least tonight. Todd Zeal for the Rangers. Justin Thompson, A.J. Hinch, Athletics, Daryl Kyle, Doug Glanville, and our last card in this pack is Greg Vaughn Transaction. That's going to be a big signing for the Reds. And I guess it worked out. I did okay for him for the rest of that year. Mike Lieberthal, Ricky Gutierrez, Eric Milton. Rick Aguilera, Fernando Tatis, probably just hit a home run there, and a Mo Vaughn transactions, the Angels, and another checklist. All right, so that's the first third. Pretty good third there. It's on a box hit and one of those particulars. Next pack, Ricky Gutierrez. Jose Guillen, Jamie Moyer, Mike Sweeney, Dan Wilson. That's a sharp looking card. I like that one. Brian Meadows for the Marlins and a draft pick of Seth Etherton. Don't think old Seth amounted to a whole lot in baseball. I think he did stick around for a couple years though. Think. Kevin Stocker, Miguel Tejada, Mike Lansing, Ismael Valdez. We have a Never Compromise, Andres Galarraga. That's a pretty cool looking card, actually. Um, it's got multiple textures. The Never Compromise in the background there, you can see that text. It's actually like raised up just a hair. So it gives some extra texture there. And let's sleeve that thing up. And the Braves are Roy. Roy Galloway. That's going to you, my friend. Very nice. And because I'm curious, the Never Compromise cards are seated. Let's see if I can find it on here. Um, 1 in 12. 1 in 12. And our last card of that pack was a Transactions of Greg Jeffries. And another checklist. Tom Goodwin. Abraham Nunez. Jason Christensen for the Pirates. Chris Peters, also for the Pirates. 
Todd Dunwoody for the Marlins, and a transaction of Dean Palmer for the Tigers. Armas Ramirez, Pirates, Randy Velarde, Angels. I like this card. Terry Steinbach for the Twins. One would argue that it's more of an Alamore card, but nope, we're going to the Twins. Hideki Irabu for the Yankees. Jason Giambi, Athletics. Michael Barrett, Expo's Future Star, and another checklist. So, pretty good box so far, I would say. And the A-Rod Chrome card is nice. But we're not done. Darren Erstad, Bobby Jones, Jeff Abbott, Henry Rodriguez. Whenever I see Henry Rodriguez, I think of, um, is it Rookie of the Year? The, the, the movie about the kid who ends up pitching for the Cubs. Isn't his name Henry in that? I think so. Mike Hampton and Will Clark. I could be completely wrong about that. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie, but in my head, his name is Henry. Greg Olson, Dennis Reyes, Jose Cruz Jr., Tony Saunders. We have another lenticular. Devin White. Checklist. And our next lenticular is Carrie Wood. Striking out somebody. Giant, maybe, or an Astro? I can't tell who he's striking out. Doesn't say on the back, but this is another one of those video replay cards. And the Cubs, Ben Martin. Congratulations, Ben. I hope that is a new one for your collection. Always fun to get new inserts. Especially if it's a team you collect. Tony Saunders for the Rays. David Cohn, Yankees. And let's talk to David Cohn slightly. Al Martin. Pretty good looking card there. Kurt Manwaring. Matt Stairs. And Chris George. Draft pick. One more pack from this third. Rick Helling, Rangers. Javier Valentin, Twins. So, where's the runner? He's just all by himself fielding a... Looks to be a play at the plate. Al Martin again. Todd Walker, Matt Morris, and Rafael Palmero transaction. All right, that's the second third. Last stack coming up. I know Joe said he wanted to jeer. I don't know what else people are looking for in this. There are autographs possible. They're a long shot, I believe. Tim Wakefield, Todd Dunwoody, Bernie Williams, Charles Nagy, Jeff Montgomery, and Ryan Anderson. That is a this is a not the most flattering photo and setup for poor Ryan Anderson. Yeah, I didn't even really talk about the autographs, but according to the checklist in every pack, there's a Juan Gonzalez, a Vlad, Albert Bell, Kerry Wood, and Todd Helton. Uh, stadium club autographs and then there's a whole bunch of co-signers that are possible as well that would be really cool if we pull any of those richie Sexton, indians jose valentin brewers jeff cirillo seth griesinger we have our second never compromise and we have a luis gonzalez but let's take a look at this because this is cool Cal Ripken, never compromise. Going to Shane with the Orioles. 
Very nice. Nice looking card there. A little bit weird that they took just random body parts and put them in little um, images where they messed with the color saturation. It's like you've got his head, fine. You've got his glove, all right. You've got his foot, I guess. And then you have just his hand on his leg. That's a little weird, but otherwise, very nice card. Second one of those. Still hoping for an autograph. Um, the pack odds for autographs. A cosigner, any cosigner at all, overall is 1 in 224. So I believe that's a case hit. Um, some of them are super, super rare. But still cool. Who knows? We could get lucky. Dave Burba. Barry Larkin, Jason Giambi, Cliff Floyd, Javier Valentin, and Randy Johnson. <laughs> Todd Zeal, Mike Hampton, Todd Jones for the Tigers, uh, Kevin Young, Pittsburgh, Jeff Bagwell. That's kind of a cool shot for the Astros. Todd Stottlemyre for the Diamondbacks. I mean, with Stadium Club, even if you don't get any fancy inserts or anything, the base cards are just so nice. I mean, this is why you guys all said you won Stadium Club, I think. And I, you, good choice. Darren Fletcher, Fernando Vina, Troy O'Leary, Dennis Reyes again, Kilviero Veras. And J.M. Gold, the Brewers. J.M. Gold. Never heard of him. Just thought it must be exciting, though. You're a, you know, an upcoming minor leaguer, and you finally get in a real MLB set. Even if, you know, you're this guy, like, he probably doesn't have any other cards, if I had to guess. There's certainly not many. But here he is, you know, draft pick. Got his own card. He's forever immortalized in a set. Omar Dahl. Juan Encarnacion. Kurt Manwaring. Marty Cordova. Oh, we have another one of the, the uh, video replays. Sammy Sosa. Also going to the Cubs. Where he's hitting a home run. Ben Martin. You have the Sosa and the Kerry Wood. So whether you like offense or pitching, you're in luck. And a Ken Caminiti rounds out that pack. Two packs left. It's so fun when it's people in the break or that are watching the break that get the good stuff, right? Sean Bergman, Kurt Schilling, Omar Vizquel, Dwight Gooden. Todd Walker, and Roberto Alomar. And this is our last chance for anything in the break tonight. Good luck, everybody that's still hoping for something. <laughs> Hideki Irabu, Mark Katze, Aaron Boone, Jeff Montgomery, Richie Saxon, and Fernando Siganol rounds out the break. So that is our box of Top Stadium Club. I will recap very quickly the uh, hits and inserts that we got. So we ended up with three of the video replay cards. We had Mark McGuire for the Cardinals and then a pair of Cubs, uh, Sammy Sosa and Kerry Wood. We had two of the Never Compromise, Cal Ripken for the Orioles and Andres Galarraga for the Braves. And our box hit is the Chrome card of Alex Rodriguez for Seattle. So that does it for the group break portion of tonight. And I will just throw all these in this box so that I can make sure they all get sorted properly. Um, at this point, two quick reminders. Uh, one, 
If you are someone that wants your card shipped at any point, just shoot me a message and I can get you a shipping quote. Um, it's perfectly fine to continue to wait and you know we can fill up a small flat rate mailer or something. That's probably the most efficient way to do it. You can hold the most cards and they're the most well protected. Um, but yeah, at any point, I've already shipped off for a couple of people. So I do want to mention that. And next, I want to mention what I'm going to bust next. So you guys told me Stadium Club. And you know what? I'm doing my best to deliver Stadium Club. So how about a box of 1998 Stadium Club, the Evens? Uh, the Evens is essentially Series 2. Uh, in 1998, I learned that Stadium Club Series 1 was odd-numbered cards throughout the set, and Series 2 was even-numbered cards throughout the set, which has to be really annoying if you're a set collector and you get Series 1 and every other spot in your binder has to be empty until Series 2 comes out. Um, I think there's a reason why that trend did not catch on. But this is a hobby uh, box. You can maybe see that right there, hobby edition. Uh, it's it's jam-packed. It's got 24 packs, nine cards per pack. So we should get a bunch more cards than the last box. Um, and there's a bunch of co-signer autograph cards. Uh, there's a bunch of interesting inserts, Royal Court, Playing With Passion, Bowman Prospect Previews. Um, I think there's also the potential for one-on-one -on -one cards. Uh, printing plates, I believe, are in Series 2 if I'm not mistaken, for the entire set. Um, I think that's correct. So this will be what we're going to bust next. Um, I'm planning on going back to just pick a single team and see if I can fill a break that way. Um, if not, I can go back to the double team because obviously it filled the 15 slots fill much faster. But I know that some of you don't really, you don't have a lot of interest in getting that second team. Um, so we're going to see, I'm going to see if I can make it work. Uh, obviously, you know, I, I'm not really doing this to make money at all, but I don't want to lose money on my box break. So hopefully I can make it work. I'm still working on the pricing. I might get that up. Fingers crossed, uh, tonight. Um, I probably won't start sorting these cards until, I don't know, tomorrow or, or Monday. Um, but Hopefully I can get the pricing up and throw that up on the Facebook group and eventually also on the blog. But yeah, this is the next box that I plan to break. And special bonus, if, if we can sell that one out, I also grabbed this, Playoff Prestige 2003. And I plan to do this break next after the stadium club. Um, this one, I have to do a lot more research on for pricing because there are tons and tons of um, hits in here that are possible. So I got to figure out how that's going to work. Um, and frankly, I just haven't had time to parse through all that data yet. But there's, I'm excited for the box. Uh, there's, just, there's a lot of really cool potential. You get 24 packs, six cards per pack. So it should be a fun break no matter what. Um, but yeah, there's patches and all kinds of good stuff um, potential in here. So I'll have more information on this one soon, but it came in the mail. Uh, I ordered it and I was excited and I wanted to show it off and give you guys a preview of something not Stadium Club related that uh, we're going to be doing in the future. So this may go up this week as well if I can fill the Stadium Club or else I might have to hold off for another week or two until I can get pricing figured out. Um, the box was actually pretty expensive, so I got I to gotta see how to make it work. But I'm hopeful I can figure it out and we can use this for a future group break because I'm excited about it. So thanks again to everybody. Thanks for watching either live and hanging out. Uh, I enjoy the, the back and forth and the comments and stuff. And, yeah, if you guys have other people that are interested in card collecting and, you know, cheap breaks, uh, retro breaks. I also do hope to open some newer stuff. Let me know. Um, invite them to the group. Um, by all means, the more the merrier. The more people in the group, the more likely we can sell more spots and the cheaper it becomes for everybody. Because if I can sell 30 spots at an affordable price instead of, you know, assuming I'm only going to be able to sell 20 of them or something like that, that's good for everybody. So uh, the more the merrier, I say. But 
for now, that's it. Have a lovely night, everybody. And I'll be uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Good night.